happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. Uh, in out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Prunus, model number R818. This is a mini FM retro wood cabinet portable radio with Bluetooth and auxiliary input. On Amazon, currently they're at $32.99 with a discount of 20% off. I got mine for around $27. I did not expect it to be this small. It's actually pretty cool. My wife likes it. I find it rather interesting. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. Uh, Retro Radio. They have two colors. They have a brown and a cherry. I opted for the cherry. I like the reddish uh, wood look. Looks nice versus just a brown. The box is pretty cool. It's radio. It's got old school radio there. Phonograph playing. That's cool. Uh, let's see here, uh, MP3, Bluetooth speaker radio. So it's mainly uh, a novelty item, I would say. Yeah, because it's pretty small. I was pretty impressed by its size. So let's go ahead. It was sealed. I'll open it up. Okay, so let's see what we get in the box. The radio, of course. Looks like we get a cable and some instructions on the bottom. That's fun. How many get those out? There you go. Could it be your lucky day? Scratch here. <laughs> All right. Um, so paperwork, I guess. Card, how can we help you? Ooh. Scratch here. Maybe later. Okay. Uh, instructions. Like a one-page deal. Pretty simple, it looks like. I'll just show for posterity. Thank you for purchasing the Prunus J818. Okay. And the listing, it said R1. 818. I think it's even stamped on the radio. R818. Must be a misprint. Okay. I'm going to get the best on the radio. Please, please read the manual carefully. Blah, blah, blah. If I could read. <laughs> Maintenance. Human body induction. Okay. Yeah, so one thing about this radio. There's no FM antenna. Yeah. <laughs> it makes tuning in stations rather difficult for my location. I found out that human induction played a big part if you're going to get stations or not. So you pretty much have to hold the little radio near a window in your hands to get reception. Yeah, we'll talk about that. So there's some modes, functional components. Flip this thing over. It's like a long piece of paper. Okay, please note more reception stuff, music playing, get the Bluetooth. It's cool. Pretty much just a cool little Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> like I said, my wife thought it was pretty cool. There's a QR code. I don't know if you guys can use that or not on the video. It's not quite flat to the screen, but you get an idea. Okay, done. So let's look at the cable. It is a proprietary cable. Uh, micro USB input to charge the internal battery. We have a regular, of course, USB. And here is the auxiliary jack. You plug this into the radio and this to your MP3 player. Um, so don't lose this cable or you're out of luck. It's kind of a bummer. I wish it had a dedicated jack like this, um, but they probably didn't have room on this mini radio. <laughs> so let's bring the little mini radio out. So it's in a foam sleeve. Let's pull that out. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I was shocked how small this little dude was. <laughs> there it is. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Look how little that is. It's so freaking awesome. I love it. It, like I say, definitely a novelty radio. Um, it's really blending in on my background, isn't it? So let's get a little piece of cardboard here. Yeah, this will look good. Here we go. Now we can see the radio better. We're going to zoom it on down, do some dimensions here. Do a little size comparison. So dimensions, we have three and a half inches long, two and a quarter inches high. We have a depth of two inches. So let's do a little size comparison. I always like to bring out my... Other little radios around. I got CC Pocket in the house. There you go. <laughs> the interesting thing about this little radio is that <laughs> its speaker sounds freaking awesome. <laughs> it's got some bass to it. I love it. So there's CC Pocket. Okay, you get the idea. Um, yeah, we'll just go right to a deck of cards. Yeah, CC Skywave. Yeah, we don't need to show that one, I don't think. 
Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He can spin it like no one can. He loves Woody's from China Land. <laughs> he's Iron Man. Yeah, you get it. So yeah, deck of cards. Pretty cool setup. All right. So let's talk about features of the R818. It does say R818 right on the front there. Uh, nice to see that. So, okay, so you can tell it's a wooden cabinet. Uh, it's solid wood. Uh, they call this cherry. I think it's just stained. Um, I don't know what kind of wood they used, but it's a stained color. Uh, definitely not original cherry wood. Um, but still, I like it. Looks nice. So the sides, you can see the grain. Front, we have our speaker here. Uh, it's about an inch and a quarter or an inch, right around there. That's what I can measure. I can't really tell. Um, it takes a lot to take this apart. I wouldn't get into it because I'll probably end up wrecking it. But uh, I'll talk about taking it apart too with this one. So as you can see down here, it says FM receiver, radio. We have a tuning knob here. You can see the FM scale, 87 to 108. Pretty basic. Uh, this will light up yellow in a moment. I'll show it to you. Our 818. Again, same wood treatment there. Of course, it's a wood cabinet all the way around. On the bottom has rubber feet. I pull these rubber feet back, and there's no screws underneath here. It's just for standing it up. On top, you saw the volume control. Very simple. On the back is where everything happens. You got your carry strap. I thought this was the antenna. I was like, oh, that'd be cool if this was the antenna, but it's not. <laughs> the antenna is inside. I'm guessing it's a wire of some kind. If I hold the radio like this, with my palm kind of close to that USB port, I get reception. Now, if I plug the USB cable in, it doesn't give me any extra reception. So it definitely works off a of human body inductance. So if you're wondering. The switch, as you can see, it says off, FM, Bluetooth mode, or auxiliary mode. There's your micro USB input to charge the internal battery. And as you can see, they have it listed here as a 450 milliamp hour battery. Expect this radio to run about three to four hours. Not much more than that because it's a pretty small battery. There's a charge status indicator there. The light lights up and the light goes out when it's charged. Made in China, if you couldn't guess. And of course this charger, use a half amp charger. You could use a one amp charger, it's fine. So, all right, so let's go ahead and talk about FM reception. Then we'll turn it on, we'll do a demo. Uh, and then I'll see if I can tune a few strong stations in. That's about all we're going to get. And uh, yeah, we'll do final thoughts. So FM reception. Uh, yeah, I have a I have a five-tier method. It starts fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Most analog radios, uh, such as this old-school uh, General Electric right here, which is gigantic comparably. I can't even get that on frame. <laughs> this gets 48 stations in my location. And uh, I rate that as okay to good, right? Average in the middle. This little guy here, it got a rating of fair to okay. It only found 28 stations. Yeah, so it was less in performance. Now that's because there's no external antenna. I find that a problem for a $27 radio. Uh, that's kind of a bummer. Um, hopefully they can improve that. Uh, like to see just like a little like a wire whip or a little little telescopic antenna. I think they could have done it. I think there's room for that. Um, that would have been great. I know they're just going for miniature Bluetooth, but if they're going to make a radio out of it, it would have been nice to see a little wire or something. Now, I could probably go in there and modify it and put my own wire in, but I don't know if I'm going to do that or not yet. So, definitely uh, cool. So, let's keep going here. We have, um, so yeah, 28 stations found, fair to okay. I told you about human induction and holding the radio in your hand. Um, expect about a three to five hour runtime. We have... Uh, Selectivity was okay uh, with the radio. I was finding faint stations. It was difficult, though, <laughs> again, because no antenna. I was holding it like this and moving it around, trying to get the best reception. So let's go ahead and turn it on. I actually have a C-Crane FM transmitter over here broadcasting on 92.9 megahertz. I should definitely be able to pick it up with this radio in this proximity. Got a little antenna on here. And I'm using an MP3 player hooked up to it, playing MP3 royalty-free music. So... Uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn the radio on by the back switch. We'll turn to FM mode. Lights up. Pretty cool antique look. I like that. All right. Let's get this in the frame better. Turn it up. We'll run this for a few minutes.
Redstone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Nice. Uh, so it works out pretty good with an FM transmitter or directly to the uh, device. We're going to actually show you that in action too. Um, so there's the FM. Now we're going to do an FM band scan, but we're only going to pick up a few stations down here. Um, so let's go ahead and turn off the transmitter. Yeah, so we don't mess up anything. Go to the bottom of the band. Like I said, there is no antenna here. So found that holding it, like I said, back there by that USB port, and near a window, really makes a difference. Well, Mother, I would ask that you would encircle your daughter, Mari, in your mantle. That you would wrap her and hold her close to your most immaculate heart, and that she might draw from that heart. So you get the idea, and I'm trying to tune it so I have that inductance behind there. Well, she asked the doctor if she could have one thing, if he thought it would be all right for her to play one more basketball game. She was on the women's basketball. She loved the game. And he told her it would be fine, and so they scheduled this game, which they thought would be just a few people coming to honor this girl. And ten... Here's something. Exactly like an FM, uh, AM radio by turning it. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Let's get a little more voicemail. 
Encouraging Caleb, skip an Amy show, but they would not be adorable if they were picking produce. Now, 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 be careful because 80% of us say yes, we do. We, uh, I think, take a test trial of the produce before buying it at the grocery store. Karen, is this something you do? <laughs> Save big money at the night. If knee or hip pain is slowing you down, there's no need to put off treatment. I'm Dr. Lal Puri, head of adult reconstruction. See, human inductance. You are the magic. <laughs> Hospital dedicated to treating patients with joint, back, and neck issues. We're committed to care. So we can get some music. Some music station there. It's funny I'm turning it like an AM radio. That's hilarious. Keep tuning. Eleven o'clock. Oh, congrats to uh, Carl from Gurney. He uh, he was caller ten. He picked up tickets. He's going to see the dinosaur drive-through. And more tickets coming up. Ticket Tuesday. Thanks to Kinnaman Accounting and Tax Service. You make the green. They count the beans. Ninety Football Rock Three Lockbox presented by Buck Brothers. This isn't updated. It's not. Are we mentioning it yet? I was I was a little busy this morning. Okay, but I Tom was a little already. busy this morning. So yeah, we talked to Dan. So we're picking up quite a few stations down here. Just, yeah, it's, you gotta hold it a certain way. <laughs> The dial isn't super accurate. The first business owners to sign up with Town Square and receive $500 in free advertising on this radio station. Start growing your business today. Visit GetLocalCustomersNow.com. Has deodorant been missing from your mo- yeah, so it's a fun little radio. I love it. <laughs> it's a little pricey, but it's a novelty. I think it's cool. I just love the wood construction and its size. Like I said, when I opened the box, I'm like, what? <laughs> this thing is mini. Loving it. This changes color, by the way, when you're in a different mode. I'll have to show you that in a second. We'll get through the band scan. Classical station. Oh, I couldn't get that before. Nice. Bing Lake. Make Henry and Kenosha Kennel. 2010. Jeff Schmidt Productions has hosted events ranging from weddings and reception. Yeah, this commercial, they air this commercial every 15 minutes on this radio station. <laughs> it drives me nuts. You can find Jeff on Facebook. It's a super strong station. Slash. Next to me. Schmidt Productions. The American Legion honors our newest generation of warriors and veterans. Please join us in supporting and recognizing their unique contribution. Okay, we're almost done with the band skin because I think it's pretty empty up here. Except for one or two. I'm trying to keep my hand back here as I tune to help it. Should be a strong station coming up. You can cut yourself loose and use that rage. I wish someone going, we're almost done. Unas, ogłaszają się najlepsi. Pora na sponsora. 
A już teraz moimi państwa gościem na antenie Polskiego Radia. Dwa z agencji. I think there's a Spanish station at the top of the dial, but I'm not picking it up. Okay, so there's the FM pan scan. You got it. Yeah, actually, not too bad. Downstairs or in the subfloor basement. Uh, pretty pretty impressed. It's worse. You have to hold it. Um, unless you have a really strong station. It's a 10 p.m. Central Time. Late Saturday night, midnight to 2 a.m. A mix of rock you're not going to find anywhere else. Thank you for listening to 99.9 FM, WYML, and WYML.US. More music. More music. I want to hear more. I want to hear more. Back to the music. WYML. So there you go. You got an idea for that. Now you can uh, switch to Bluetooth mode. So on the back here, you just switch. Down one to Bluetooth. Let's go ahead and... So it gives a little tone. I think it displays 818 on your phone so you know that the Bluetooth is ready and that's how it's going to play. Um, there's no controls for the uh, Bluetooth. It's just straight up from the phone you're using your device. So there you go. Pretty basic. And then if you go down one more, it has... A UX mode. Okay. AUX mode, auxiliary in mode. Uh, so this mode's pretty cool. I wanted to showcase this. Let's go ahead and uh, undo the wire. Set that aside. Yeah, so we'll do this night. This only problem is you don't want to lose this wire. Um, I noticed with AM, it's kind of like gets some interference from this device. But with FM or uh, like a weather band, it's fine. Uh, it works really good with, say, a uh, smaller radio, like, like a pocket that has a tinny sounding speaker. So we'll plug it in there and we'll... Uh, Tune in the weather band here. I'm going to just turn it on and put the weather. Okay. So I'm going to bring this in to show you we're in channel 5, weather channel. It's really close by. So we got that. And I'm going to go ahead and plug this micro USB into the back of this. And uh, yeah, do it on camera. So it goes in there. There we go. Of course, you'd have it standing like this. But I have it. I'm going to have to hold it so you guys can see what's going on. So we should be able to hear it. See where it's going on. Wednesday night, south winds to 30 knots, diminishing to 10 to 20 knots overnight. Chance of showers. Waves 4 to 6 feet, occasionally 8 feet subsiding to 3 to 5 feet. Thursday, south winds 10 to 20 knots. Waves 3 to 5 feet. Thursday night, south winds 10 to 20 knots, becoming southwest. Waves 3 to 5 feet. Friday, south winds 10 to 20 knots. Waves three to five feet. I'm going to give you an idea. Let's see what it sounds like on just the pocket. Waves one to three feet. Sheboygan, Wisconsin to Pentwater, Michigan South. Rest of today. So, yeah, definitely an improvement. <laughs> I like that. But, uh, yeah, so you have the auxiliary uh, port there, which I find is nice. So, so let's go ahead and turn this off and do some final thoughts on the R818 um, Mini FM Bluetooth uh, auxiliary and speaker. Um, yeah, I mean, the price is a little steep. Uh, 27 bucks with the coupon. Even at that price, it's kind of like, mm, but you know what? It's made of wood. I mean, this is all wood here. Now, I want to talk about modding. Uh, since it's the end of the video, we'll talk about modding. There, This is a sticker. Um, this plate here, I thought it was just solid. I'm like, how'd they get this in here? If you pull up on a corner, you can actually peel this sticker off, and I bet you there's screws, so you can remove this from the wood cabinet. That give you access to the battery and connections to the battery and probably the antenna. Now remember, it'll avoid your warranty, but you could do some modding with this. And I see some pretty cool mods you could do. Definitely wire up an external antenna. Maybe have it here. Drill something out. Maybe use a jack and use one of those. I've seen uh, antennas, little whip antennas, that use an eighth inch jack. So you just plug it in there and boom, you're done. Um, I might try to do that with this radio just for the heck of it, just to get that extra reception. So I don't have to hold it in my hand. Because <laughs> this makes a cool little conversation thing. Like I said, my wife thought it was awesome. Again, small, cute, fun. <laughs> uh, that's that's what it's about. And uh, it does have some class to it. You know, with that wood grain. Definitely you know, real wood. So yeah, definitely moddable. And then the battery. So it's 450 milliamp hour inside. I'm guessing there's not much room in there to put upgrade the battery. So you have to go to something external uh, for a battery. It wouldn't be too big a deal. Um, you could probably 
Some people have access to 3D printers. I don't. Um, so I'd probably put something on the bottom here. Uh, I'm not sure what I would, maybe a, like a little black box if I found like a little, maybe cigar box or something. And then I could uh, go through the bottom here, either come out the back, probably through the back, and have the wires go down underneath here since you have clearance from these feet, and uh, go to the box. And then I could have a 3.7 volt pack in there, say like three 18650s or something. And this thing could run for quite a while. And I could even fasten this to the box if I wanted to, you know, through the bottom. Uh, it's just ideas of modding, and I think it's cool that you can mod this uh, and have some fun. I love that light-up dial. I think it's neat. So let me know what you think. Um, like I say, it's, it's a cool, fun factor radio. I don't review these too often. Uh, I don't get these in too often. I think I did the Riri, whatever it was. That was a bigger radio for sure, um, that wooden radio. Um, I don't have it handy, otherwise I would have compared it to this one. Uh, but this sounds really cool for what it is, for its size. So it does it get a recommended buy as a novelty item for somebody that has everything? Yes, it is. If it's like a person just wants an FM radio and a Bluetooth speaker, maybe not. It's 27 bucks. <laughs> you got to really like it. You got to like the wood. You got to like the light-up dial. You got to like just the basic controls, uh, you know, for that price point. But uh, it's not too bad. If the price comes down even further, great. You know, if it's a, twenty, say, $22 radio, $24 radio, it's going to sell a lot, but I, I can see why it's a little higher with the construction cost. So, but there it is. It gets a maybe buy for me. Uh, again, if you like novelties, definitely get it. Uh, but if you're looking for just utilitarian, it's probably not for you. <laughs> this is definitely a fun conversation starter. So I hope you like this video. Give me a big like if you did. Two, if you like the Prunus brand, uh, they come out with some unique stuff. I did not expect to see this in their lineup and I had to have it because I've been buying most of their radios. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy with it. I think it's fun. Uh, definitely a keeper. It's not one I'm going to send back. I do send radios back if they don't meet my expectations. But uh, this one does. I, th I think it's enough fun and enough modding potential. Again, I love modding things, as you guys know. And I think this has some potential for mods. So if I do mod this, I will make the video. So make sure you hit subscribe at the bell icon. Get notified of that modified radio, of this modified radio. And other modified radios I've done in the past or in the future. Um, it's a lot of fun. I do have some other things planned uh, to be excited about. And of course, three, comment below what you think about the R818. Um, is it something you'd get? Do you think it's fun? Do you think it's enough cool factor for the money? Um, let me know. It'd be cool. And tell me what you think about modding. Would you mod it? I'm definitely going to do it. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. And we'll see you in my next video video.